Antler fires it back up ice to Balaz. He will leave it for Gabay. Gabay at the right hand side towards goal. Escorted away expertly by Bartholomew to the front of the net. And Balaz will shovel it in. And something from absolutely nothing as the Bees take the lead. 13 17. Marcel Balaz gets his 11th of the year. Good work down low by Gabay. Finds Balaz, who's able to shovel it underneath McLaughlin's blocker. And into the back of the net. We'll turn pass back to Mog. He will go straight through centre. Stuart Mog. Straight to the middle. Stuart Mog! What a goal by the D man! He skates through everyone, coast to coast. And the captain scores 20 45. The Bees lead 2 0. End to end from the skipper and fires it over the blocker of Jordan McLaughlin for his fourth of the year. He's the other way again. End to end stuff to start this period. Antonov tries to find goodbye. Shot goes in. It's not the prettiest. But the coach gets the final touch on that one. And the Bees lead 3-0. 23-16. The shot from Gabay, it comes off the leg of McLaughlin onto the blocker and trickles over him and in for the B's third of the night. Barmer. Barmer with it. Oh, it winds up, fires off the post and it's gone in. It's been given as a goal. The lamp goes, the referee gives it, and Finley Ulrich fires home for the Seahawks. 32 16, time of the goal. Winding up, firing it does come off the side post, it's in and out as fast as you like. Brilliant from Ulrich. Collects the puck on the left hand side and fires it. And so again, one by the Seahawks. I think we've won all of them at the start of this period. Barmer shot this time goes wide. Bonner is first of the puck. Young. Wheels round, shot comes in. That's tipped in front by Lee Bonner. And it's a one goal game. 45 52, the time of the goal. And Lee Bonner gets his fourth of the year with a tip in front. It's all the good work from Bobby Young. The shot comes in, the tip in front. Knocks it through Priest's five hole. And it's a one goal game again. I said it to you earlier. This Face off one by the Seahawks. All right, back to spec. Bartholomew can't quite keep it in the blue line. And Ballas sets goodbye away. Tom Goodbye versus Jordan McLaughlin. Goal, Tom Goodbye. The short handed breakaway. And the coach puts it on the board, 47-28. The Bees pounce on the turnover, Ballas sets the coach away and fires it under the blocker in McLaughlin. Where Ballas hit pipe, Gabay finds the net. An angle shot deflected by Mog, but luckily it bounces wide. Ulrich, 20 seconds left on the bad minor, Bartholomew. Looks for an angle, finds Ulrich, Finley Ulrich, wide open, back door. And it's 4-3 with 3.20 to go. Finley Ulrich, his second power play goal of the night, 56-40. We said it was a big moment in the game. Finley Ulrich left wide open and Britton Priest couldn't cut the angle down. Here is that third goal. Sveck finds Finley Ulrich in just absolute acres of space. So Bartholomew, I should say, on that one. Move the pass. But Finley Ulrich. We move on to the Man of the Match presentations tonight. Firstly, our visitors, the whole Seahawks, if they do want to stop talking to the referees. Man.
Man of the match for the Hull Seahawks has gone to 72, Jordan McLaughlin. Who was the deserved man of the match? Two, the three breakaway chances he stopped two, let one in. The Seahawks, a spirited performance from them tonight. They take their lap of honour. Seahawks fans, it gives me enough time to say thank you for joining us tonight, be it in the rink or on the stream. The next time you are here in Slough, be it on, again on stream or in person, is Sunday, the 21st of January. Five o'clock face off again, streamed be live from 4.15 or there and thereabouts. If you could join us at the match for the Bees, which could be anyone tonight. They started off short bench, they were missing four players. And they lost Josh Kelly in the first period, in the first 90 seconds of the game. There are five men down. Man of the match for the Bees goes to Britain Priest. with 44 shots on goal, 41 saves. His second man of the match performance of the weekend. And deservedly so. Coming quite a tradition for him here. Yes, the sign of cap, present it to whoever in the crowd. goes off on his adventures once more. And the Bees will skate round for a lap of honour after they pick up two points tonight. Their sixth win of the season. It'll move them above the Seahawks in the league table. And they finally snap the five game losing run to the Seahawks. The Bees are back Saturday night, the 28th of October. And it's a nightmare on Monton Lane as the Sheffield Steel Dogs are in town. They bring Sam Cooper with them and the Bees are in their Freddy Krueger inspired jerseys. We'll see you next week, 6.30 face off. We'll be live from about, I'm going to look at Bruce Nick here, 5.30 I would say, 5.45. That's the one he points to me there, 5.45 with the stream will be live from on Saturday night. If you can't join us in the rink, if you can, please do get down. Kids are a quid as well for that one, but for me, I'm producing it behind me. Thank you and good night.